Hello. Hello. Today I'm going to take one question that is uh, multiple transformations, uh, multiple transformations. Uh, let me take uh, the points. I, uh, let me read the question first. Hello. Good morning. I'm going to explain one question on multiple transformations. Uh, let me read the question. There's a triangle TAB. If T is 2, 3, A, 1, 1, and B is 4, negative 3, or the x-axis, then rotate. So I see that uh, there are two transformations. First one is uh, reflection. First one is uh, reflection and followed by rotation. Reflection followed by rotation. Now, I don't have a graph sheet. Then how to solve this one? So let me write uh, the points first which is uh, point T, which is uh, 2, 3, next uh, point uh, A, which is uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, and point B is uh, 4, comma, negative 3. Okay? So reflection over x-axis. Reflection over x-axis. So in the previous classes we discussed about uh, when something is reflected in x-axis. So just uh, let me write the condition. So reflection, reflection over x-axis. The condition is, the condition is uh, if uh, a point is reflected in x-axis, uh, then the value of uh, the value I would say that the values of x remains the same, remains the same. So this is point number one to be remembered. So all of my x values, which is two here, one is here and four, that's the same. And next point number two, point number two, uh, let me pick a different color. So second point is uh, y values y values are to be switched. I mean to say that the sign to be switched. Therefore, uh, here I see that 3 is there. Then I have to take a negative 3. And here 1 is there that changes to negative 1 and this is uh, I see that negative 3 I have to switch the sign so positive 3 so these are the this is T prime this is A prime and this is B prime okay so I'm done with my first transformation which is the reflection so I'm done with my reflection next uh, coming to the second part which is uh, the rotation rotation so let me just I'm done with my first part of the question and second one is rotation so rotate through rotate the image through 90 degrees clockwise this is really tricky part because eh, uh, when I take uh, the coordinate plane the question says that 90 degrees clockwise you know how the clock rotates so this is 90 degrees clockwise which is uh, equal to which is uh, equal to our same as uh, you look at this one one block two block three blocks uh, i would say that uh, there are three quarters we are taking three quarters we are taking so here uh, 90 degrees clockwise is uh, equal to three quarters three quarters means uh, three times 90 that gives uh, 270 degrees counterclockwise what are the rules are given to you those all are based on counterclockwise so keeping that one uh, in mind so 90 degrees 90 degrees clockwise rotation is uh, same as 270 degrees uh, counterclockwise counterclockwise i'm sorry i have less space so that i'm writing this way so 270 degrees counterclockwise in the previous classes we discussed so if 270 degrees of counterclockwise 
rotation in that uh, x y x y um, becomes uh, x y becomes uh, pause the video for a second and think of it uh, how it changes uh, okay so x and y values are to be swapped and y negative x we have to take so let me copy the same thing let me copy the same here and the same condition is brought here the same condition is taken okay now uh, let me take my points uh, first one is t prime uh, t prime let me take my t prime which is uh, 2 negative 3 let me write all the three points next one is my a prime is 1 negative 1 then b prime is uh, 4 comma 3 now this one becomes this one becomes uh, uh, you have to swap y and x values therefore my y value comes here and while writing x don't forget to switch the sign so it is negative 2 and this one becomes uh, again the same rule uh, which is uh, uh, we have to swap x and y values therefore my y value comes here while writing x don't forget to switch the sign so it is negative 1 then becomes uh, swap x and y values 3 comes here 4 goes there and don't forget to switch the value of uh, the sign of uh, x therefore that is negative 4 okay so this is how i got my a double prime this is my uh, sorry it is t therefore t double prime because this is the second transformation this is the second transformation therefore t double prime and this one is uh, a double prime and this one is uh, b double prime okay that's it if you have any questions you can call me on conference thank you for watching the video